lackluster in the game. There we go. The uh, brick roads are uh, causing some feedback in the wheel, causing it to step a little bit on me. I'm gonna let up. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We are here on Forza Motorsports 7, staring down one of the RTR cars, the RTR Spec 5. So this car is uh, the car we're going to be building today. It is wrapped in that very cool Spitfire military livery created by TUS Pixel. I'll show you guys his livery. Make sure you guys check out all his liveries that he designed. He did some uh, amazing work on this uh, livery design. It's available for Von Gittin's RTR as well as the RTR Spec 5. We're going to be building that today, but we're also going to take a look at my wheel settings and stuff like that as well because a lot of people have been asking about my wheel settings and what's been changed recently. So we're going to get building this car. Uh, definitely looks amazing and uh, driving it stock was pretty good, but we're going to build it, do a little bit more to it, and uh, kind of just have a little fun with it. But like I said, I'll sh make sure you guys check out TUS Pixel or Pixel TUS for his designs. So let's see if I can find... Uh, find his design for you guys so that you guys can see it so make sure you guys check it out he does a lot of cool designs so we're going to search this real quick for you guys so like I said make sure you check it out pixel to us if you guys want to download this livery for the spec 5 yourself or for Von Gittin Jr's car this, uh, if you guys don't know this uh, paint scheme, this was one of the ones that was originally on one of these cars when it was first sold. So make sure you guys check out all his other designs. So now we're going to get into uh, some of the settings and stuff like that that you guys have been asking about. So we're going to go into my wheel settings here for today. And we're going to go into advanced. So all the stuff up top have not touched. Everything is kind of just the same. Uh, deceleration is tweaked personal preference. So for wheel settings from what I've had before these are a little bit different I'm running no vibration scale because the vibration in the actual game is through the force feedback anyways we're running a 110 force feedback aligning torque of 120 mechanical trail of 150 pneumatic trail we've left at 100 road feel we left at 100 um, load sensitivity is still at 100 wheel dampening 100 100 dynamic behavioral 100 50 linearity and steering rotation at 900 these are the settings that i am currently using and uh i seem to uh be okay with them right now with the update on this fanatech rig so these are the settings i'm running i know a lot of people have been asking so the mechanical trail kick up to 150 has helped with self steer and stuff like that when in drift so that's what we're running here for our uh basically wheel settings on the Fanatec. We're going to actually, I wanted to change that. We're going to run these down a little bit. We're going to put this back down to 60, head it up a little bit too high. We are going to be rocking this camera today as well as outdoor camera third person for you guys. So now let's get into just uh, doing some upgrades to this car and uh, see what we can uh, actually come up with and see like what we're actually working with from the get-go it does not have drift suspension so we're gonna throw drift suspension on this car and I think we're not gonna to touch it too too much with comes like that of course it doesn't have a cage in there I thought it did no well we're gonna full throw a full spec cage it had half a cage in there we're gonna leave the weight definitely going to upgrade the brakes so that we can uh, set our braking pressures and stuff like that and uh, well we need all the drift parts obviously for a drift car all the drift goodies transmissions and stuff like that we're not going to go too crazy on this with power um, i think we're going to try and leave this as a more of a mild build we're going to leave the rtr wheels on there for right now we are on sport tires so we're good to go uh, i think we're going to we're we rocking in the rear 325s we'll leave the tires 325s so for performance aspect, what are we looking at? We are looking at 497 horsepower. We're gonna do maybe I wanna say around 600 is where I wanna go. Maybe 550 or 530. 
We're going to do all the fuel systems and stuff like that. And then do an exhaust and see where we're at after that. I-54. Don't think I want to do cams. Ah, we'll do cams. 612. It's a decent, decent power curve. So we're going to run 612 on this car today. And then uh, we're going to get into suspension tuning and everything like that. We'll get the wheel cam turned on and we'll just go send it, have a little fun with the car. We're going to adjust our tire pressures down. And then we'll leave gearing for right now. We will leave pretty much all that alignment the same. Any roll bar is the same. We're going to leave pretty much everything how it sits. We're just going to drop the car a little bit more. So we'll leave everything how it sits right now and then go from there. See how it drives first. We're going to lower brakes just to personal braking pressure. And then that seems good. So we're going to go with this for now. We're going to see how this handles how out of the box like this. And then we'll go from there. Turn controller off. Get to my wheel. Got my phone blowing up. Let's see here. Going to get the wheel cam turned on. Got our uh, Fanatec all wired in and good to go. Let us go shred this car and see what we can do. We are at Sebring. I don't think I want to go Sebring. I'm trying to think of where I really want to drift. Some place probably that we haven't drifted in a while. But it's still fun. We're going to go Prague. Prague is always a good place to drift. We got to turn traction control off and manual with clutch. I was doing some GTLM racing, so we are going to be switching all that back on. So like I said, make sure you guys check out this livery. It's definitely a sweet looking livery. It's available for the RTR Mustang as well as I'm RTR. They're all RTR Mustangs. Von Gittin's Mustang and the RTR Spec 5. So definitely curious about this Spec 5 because uh, a lot of people have been Talking some good things about it, and I tried it stock, and it was pretty good, but the angle just wasn't there. But now that we have the drift kit in there, we might be good to go. So I think we're going to send this out in uh, third person first, just to see how it feels. We're going to take off our sequential. And throw this thing in. Oh. Apparently my shifter is not working. All right. Well, looks like we're sequential mode because the hitch pattern was not switched on. So we're gonna rock this thing in sequential. And just see how this goes. I just realized the ghost of damage on the roof. Throw it in, way too early. There we go. So from what I've been seeing with people running this car, this car is very stable and uh, I can see why people like it now. Just on the first impressions of drifting it, it's very stable. Just with the factory drift suspension thrown on it. So we're gonna give this a full rundown and test this car out. Cause I didn't really get to play with the RTRs too much because I've been focusing really on my ESDA stuff. So lungy break, stay in fifth. Oh, this car is nice. This car handles so well, surprisingly, just out of the box. Some little power additives, some uh, tire pressure changes, drift suspension, and you got yourself a really good handling car if you don't let go of the wheel. <laughs> Fails. If you don't let go of the wheel, you could have probably linked that perfectly fine. This car's very stable, I'm not gonna lie. This, I'm surprised with how well this thing's handling right now. So, <laughs> definitely uh, give this a shot if you guys have not tried this car. Pretty sure a lot of people have already uh, been shredding these cars a lot. Because, uh, well, when we get new cars, we like to just, uh, you know, blast them all over and have fun with them and then you know they kind of lose their lackluster but I feel like these cars are gonna be cars that do not lose their uh, 
do not lose their lackluster in the game. There we go. The uh, brick roads are uh, causing some feedback in the wheel, causing it to step a little bit on me instead of be super smooth on the rotation, but we're still good. So for first impressions on this RTR, it's definitely nice, and I do love the way this livery looks, but I think it's time to, uh, well, throw it in uh, first person and take advantage of the drift cam, and we've already smoked our rear tires. Go. Oh man. You want to talk about a really easy car to drift with very minimal tuning? This RTR with just factory drift suspension didn't change anything but ride height. Is this car is definitely getting it? Oh. So you want a very easy car to start drifting? I feel like this is a good one. Oh, until you do that. Still getting used to the uh, the first person, you know, pivoting of the camera because it's definitely different at first. Just a rub on the front bumper. It is kind of weird seeing him use paddles in this car. <laughs> Paddle shifters, maybe that's. I know this isn't a Seto, but. You know, maybe that's why it uh, didn't want to work in H pattern. But it's all right, we got it in sequential mode, so we're still good. So this car is so much fun right now. I think we should probably take this online and do a drift sesh. Maybe see if we can't throw some tandems in this car real quick before we end this episode off. But this car, I know I said it, but this car handles so nice. You can see why a lot of people have been uh, talking about this car and having fun with it because it, it handles. It's very stable. And it's, uh, I'm not gonna say it's becoming one of my new favorite cars, but this might be a uh, nice car to throw down with, uh, throw down with the team. Maybe ask Pixel to make a little bit of a modified uh, paint version of this for myself. Throw some like subdued grade NRG logos on there. So I think we're gonna go throw this into a uh, tandem session and see if we can't get some tandems with it. <laughs> the chattering of the wheel back and forth. So let's go do that and uh, I'll meet you guys when we grid up with uh, or just meet up with some drift people. So what better place to do this than Road Atlanta? Probably people will be running that Road Atlanta down circuit, the FD's track. So we're going to run this car here. See if we can't get some tandems in here. But we're going to have a sip. We're uh, having a little Great Lakes uh, Conway Irish Ale today because uh, St. Patrick's Day this weekend. If you guys got some big plans for St. Patrick's Day, what are they? Let me know down there. It doesn't look like we have any other Mustangs. In oh, we got, an we got a Vaughn getting and a Chelsea Denofa down there. So we're just going to hop right into this and, well, see if we can uh, throw some tandems with some randoms in, uh, in this RTR. I do love how it has the little uh, LEDs in the front. Yeah, it looks like everybody's run that FD section. So perfect time to go throw some tandems. Good thing we go to do Denofa. A couple Denofas going on. Looks like the Forest Wang up there too. Another Chelsea Denofa right there. Got all kinds of RTRs rocking today. So hopefully we can do this car some justice and uh, throw some tandems. Oh man. We're gonna just send it and see what happens. Doing a little suicide action right now. Lambo lost it. 
So, unfortunately, we do go ghost at Road Atlanta when we do this in these drift meetups. But you can still get some pretty cool tandems. Let's see if we can't group up with a couple of these guys up here. I think these guys are all running real quick. We have to wait. Oh, looks like we got a rammer in the mitts. It's so sad that people decide to do stuff like that and do uh, ramming in those cars and stuff like that. It's kind of sad to see that in these lobbies, but, you know, whatever. Whatever uh, floats their boat, I guess. Yep. I knew it was coming. So, one thing about these online sessions, if you guys don't drift and you guys just feel like being the guy that rams in people, don't do it. I mean, come on. Why you gotta ruin the fun for everybody else that's doing stuff like this and having fun? Why you gotta be that guy? Just saying, don't do it. Don't be that guy. I mean, I don't know. I don't understand what is actually going through their head on that aspect of it. But we're gonna wait for these guys to come back and we're gonna try and get some... Uh, Tandems in train with this car real quick, but hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you guys check out to US Pixels uh, liveries and stuff. He does a lot of uh, painting and design, so make sure you take it out. Pixel TUS and uh, <clears throat> pick up this livery for yourself if you like it. It's definitely a sweet livery, and uh, definitely going to be keeping this on this one. So looks like these guys are flipping around, so hopefully we can maybe uh, do some chasey chase. I don't want to be the first one to go. So I don't want to be the first one out. All right, looks like we're all going now. Okay. He missed me. We're good. Try to follow this S15. So just a quick little drift session with this RTR Mustang to get the shakedown on it. So I will see you guys on the next episode. As always, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I will see you guys next time.